Music is everywhere in society. Music is in religion. Music is in uh, celebrations of life. You know, music is in walking, in wandering. Music is in work activities. Music is in crying when you are sad. So communities have music. I'm Regula Qureshi. I am the director of the Canadian Centre for Ethnomusicology. In ethnomusicology, we go out to listen to people and to talk to them and to find out how they make music because they don't, they don't necessarily have it all written down. So we have a collection, we have an archive um, of recorded music of all kinds, especially field collections that are not commercial and so nobody can get them unless they come here and listen. Or else, once we digitize them, we can put them on the web and some of that is on the web right now. The research is very diverse, but our focus of research is to work with music communities. Edmonton is just an amazing place. Our very basis for the community here is diverse. And so there are people from so many different backgrounds, different musics. So what we started is to say, well, the way any student can learn ethnomusicology is by right going out, start looking where there is a music and look, it, you could look in your own backyard, your own family, maybe your own religion. Music is actually a language that talks back or that says something to people and then you can see how they are answering by, not by singing, but by making gestures, by maybe shouting out or, you know, moving, standing up and dancing. We are connected in many directions. Each of us who teach ethnomusicology here and our students Anyone who is connected with ethnomusicology, they have a connection to some music making, to some music community. And it starts right here. 